Well, hey, thanks for coming back for part two of the Pwn CNC dust boot for your CNC machine. Let's get into it. So again, thanks to Jared and Warren for pointing out um, some areas that they want to see a little more of. Um, so I put on a, a new Pwn CNC dust boot that was covered in another video and um, didn't didn't get the, the test done right. So what I've done today and I'm going to show down below is a uh, screen grab of the example file that uh, I've just thrown together some random shapes, some letters etc and it's going to be carved in mdf and so i'm just going to throw a time lapse in because you know we don't need to watch you know an eight minute carve of of something um, but what will be important to notice is at the end of that time lapse clip uh, i'm going to bring the camera in close and see how the uh, you know in the pockets that i've created how much dust is left using a four inch dust collector straight to uh, the head of my cutter using the Pwn CNC dust boot. So let's have a look. So before I started the cutting operation to test the boot, what I did was I just sprinkled around some uh, loose sawdust uh, on top of the workpiece before the cut. Uh, and the dust boot is riding and hovering over that workpiece by about an inch. Uh, so I just passed it over it a couple of times just to see how it would work before I started the cut. Okay, and with that, this is how the test has come out. Hopefully this is going to be a good angle here. Um, what I can see is that at the forward part of the boot where the, where the bit is, it did leave some um, M M uh, MDF powder up in the corners, but that's the smallest part of this particular uh, housing. But uh, I just picked some random shapes here to try to show as an example how it would do connected to a four inch um, dust collector. Okay, and before we go, I thought I would cover uh, another portion of a question that has actually come up more than once, and uh, that's relative to the routing of my dust hose. And so it comes in from the top of my enclosure through a fitting. Um, there's just a little extra slack here, and I have it um, connected with a clip to the top of my uh, Z motor. I just machined a little block there and screwed a, a metal clip there. The question has come up, um, you know, if I experience any binding as a result of the machine moving around. And what I think is important to remember is that the router is not going to twist um, or, or make any circular motion. But if it goes around in a circle, like if you're cutting a really large piece, the, the hose is really going to stay in the same position unless you get into a freak um, kind of a scenario but you know every time um, I've, I've done big work you know it sorts itself out it doesn't cause me any problems and I've never had the the hose bind up at all so um, haven't had any problems with that in terms of the the rest of my routing I can tell you that it just goes up to a flange and believe it or not that's a very low-tech toilet flange for mounting to a subfloor and what was nice about it is the way that it mounted and it happened to be exactly a four inch fitting and then on the other side of my enclosure there is another toilet flange you can see very low tech there and then that just goes through a flex hose so that I can move my table over to my hard piping which goes to my dust collector. 
Okay, so again, I thank you for watching today. I appreciate you uh, spending some time with me here on part two. I hated to have to do a second one just because I'm not trying to wear you out with different uh, videos, but frankly, you know, I'm still pretty new to this YouTube arrangement. You know, my, my shop is not a studio. I know there are people out there that that's all they do in a wood shop is create content. That's, that's not what my gig is. I'm a woodworker and I have just elected to make this a part of that to try to share information uh, where I think it might be helpful. Um, and then just to encourage people to get out and make something. Um, so I hope that's what you're doing. I hope that this was helpful. If you liked the video, please do me a favor, just hit the like button. If you have something on your mind, please uh, leave a comment. I read all the comments and try to reply to all of them. And if you haven't done so yet, I would just encourage you to subscribe to the channel so that you'll see future videos as they come out. Thanks very much and have a great day.